In this episode of Film Stock Reviews, I'm reviewing episode 7 of House of the Dragon, titled Driftmark. Now, we open with this episode with Lady Elena's funeral after the events of episode 6. And a lot of things are interesting and crazy in this episode. There is a funeral, there's a wedding, and then someone loses an eye. So basically, this is a right-in-your-face, full-on episode where... After the events of the funeral, things are happening between the Targaryens, the Valerians, and the High Towers. Otto High Towers back. It's great to see his character. Of course, he's now once again the hand to the king, or the right hand, if you didn't understand what the hand meant. And a lot of tension is happening in this because now the series sees Damon has lost someone close to him and wants him back. So you know, there's a little thing between Rhaenyra and Damon. They come to click together. They have a little, you know, fun little night out near the ocean. Now, Aemon, who is the one who doesn't have a dragon, basically goes to Lena's dragon, takes it for his own, comes back, and confronts his cousins. There is an all-out fight scene which I didn't expect at all, but it's in your face, and Aemon loses an eye. The next scene, everybody's in the court. The king, Allison, uh, the entire families are there trying to figure out and make do of what happened. And a whole lot of tension is there. You can feel the tension as you're watching this episode. You don't know whose side is on who, who's siding with who, and it's just really interesting. Allison can't take it anymore, so she takes... A knife from the king's uh, pouch and then goes after Rhaenyra and basically tries to, you know, so for an eye for an eye uh, because of what happened to her son by the hand of her, his cousin. Now, basically Rhaenyra says, these people now see you who, who you really are, which is really true. She puts the knife down and Rhaenyra gets a little cut on her forearm. But it's a deep gash wound and all this is happening and we find out that Rhaenyra needs Damon on her side like a marriage or a blood pack marriage which they do at the end of this episode after the events of you know in the, a couple minutes before or the beginning of this episode where they figure out that you know they are in love uh of course game of thrones doesn't hold back at all with scenes like this and it's just front and center this is the seventh episode of this season there's three episodes left up until the season one finale anything's possible anything can happen in the eighth episode from the previews you got after seeing the seventh episode another maybe 10 15 years have passed so within the first episode up until the season finale i'm pretty sure 50 years could have passed between uh, the time they really need to put a little anecdote on the bottom to tell us that that much time has passed or how long has passed because now we see Eamon much older with an eye patch and uh you know if you follow the stories and the timelines of the Targaryens the Valerians and you know the high towers and you know what's going to happen you know what's coming up but other than that, maybe they did change certain things for this show only. But it's interesting to see what happens. I absolutely loved the sixth episode. And I absolutely loved this seventh episode. It finally picked up after episode five. There was a wedding. Of course, when there's a wedding in Game of Thrones, something happens. When there's a funeral, something happens. Something did happen. And now, who knows what's going to happen next. The show is getting better and better by each episode and i'm curious to see if the season finale holds up to its end because you know we know there's a second season coming but how much of that second season will play a part in the lineage of the game of thrones universe it's going to be interesting to see i love the writing in this episode i love the dialogue damon just standing in the corner leaning against the door seeing everything implode with everybody else is just funny I feel like even though you might think Damon is the villain in this, he's not. I think Allison and her father Otto are the true villains of this show. And we're going to see that in the upcoming episodes for sure. So let me know in the comment section below what you thought about episode 7 of House of the Dragon. Did you like it? Did you not like it? What did you think of it? What do you think about the aspect of the story now? 
Do you think things are going to change in this world? How much time do you think has passed? And what do you think is going to happen in the upcoming episodes? And let me know if this was your favorite episode of the season. If it wasn't, let me know which one was and which one wasn't. Let me know in the comment section below but all the questions I just asked. And I'll see you all in the next review video. And be sure you tune in next week for my episode 8 review of Game of Thrones, House of the Dragon.